greenhouses that we visited with the, the main menace which we have every year is the red spider mite. Uh, so that's the fungus at the back of the greenhouse. So it's going to spread everywhere and will probably kill a lot of um, a lot of the trees and a lot of the veg if we don't do something about it. Uh, we've got the aphid uh, problem, the green fly uh, problem is well under control because we've introduced predators. But not so with the red spider mite. We have to do this every year, so we have just found it again. So I'm going to put some of it before it spreads and kills everything in the greenhouse. What we have here is a red spider mite predator. Uh, it's very small in size and it comes in a little packaging. It's actually only about, it's less than half a millimeter in diameter. So that's, that's tiny, that's like a pin prick. Uh, the red spider mite is about the same size but there's, there's thousands of them out there, so we can't really get them if we with sprays or anything else. We don't use any sprays over here, so we just use a natural predator, and this seems to work better than anything else. As you can see, that's the red spider mite there, the little white flakes moving. They're just, they're less than half a millimeter in diameter. And when there's an infestation, as you can see right now, they form a little web which ultimately covers all the tips of the plant and they're sap suckers so they ultimately destroy the leaf and then the entire tree. So the way to put the spider mite uh, predator on is quite simple. You just rotate the bottle, hold on to the leaf and just sprinkle out the packaging material. The predator comes out with the packaging material so that's basically it, it's job done. As you can see the leaves on the plum tree are too small to sprinkle this on so I'm just going to put a piece of paper over the leaves and sprinkle it on that and the predator will, uh, will uh, move from there and ultimately search out and destroy the red spider mite. 